Hey guys, we're back with another Sims 4 house building video. Um, this video, I tried to go for a beachfront home. And because there's no beaches in the Sims 4, I had to um, go onto the lot and try and make it look more like a beach. So I added in the sand and put a fountain in to give you an idea of where the shoreline would be. Now, this home is going to be a very simple home. Um, it's really designed for just one or two uh, people to come and stay in it. It's more like a, um, I guess you can say like a beach getaway house. There's, uh, it's mainly just kind of, it's not a house that you would really want to live in all the time. Um, it's more of just kind of like a getaway. But if you use this home in The Sims 4, you can kind of use it to challenge yourself on um, living in a smaller home with not as much space and see how far you can get with your Sims. Now, I'm going around the house and I realize that I made the house too big for the blueprints that I had. And I'm adding in the kitchen. Now, with this house, because of the size of it, the kitchen living room, dining room, and bedroom are all in the same room. So, like I said, guy, there's there's like no space in this house. It's not something that you want to uh, try and stay in all the time. So I'm adding in the, the bed over here on the corner and adding in the dining table. Now, in the beginning of the video, you saw that I had two French doors um, in the front of the house and a third door. The reason for that is because this house is designed so that if you want your privacy, you leave those doors closed. And if someone comes over like a guest or somebody, you can go through that single door. Now I replaced the French doors here because the French doors are designed so that if you want to um, get a nice breeze in the home, he would open up the French doors and leave them open, let the airflow come in. But because of Sims 4 not allowing you to open a door and leave it open, I decided to replace it with these archways here. So you still get the idea of that it's um, it's supposed to be to get a nice breeze in there, and I put up those curtains too. So yeah, you get you get the idea of it. It's a really simple idea. Now we're going in and adding just a little bit of detail on the the floor because even though I have wood floors, you still want to have some sort of rugs in there or something like that. You don't want to be walking on wood floors all the time. Plus wood floors tend to creak every now and again, so you want to throw in some nice rugs. Now this corner over here, I'm setting up an entertainment center area because even though you would use this house more of like a vacation, you still want to be able to have access to a TV. Who doesn't want to watch TV and lay in bed and kind of enjoy themselves? Now, this uh, shelving unit here, I really liked the idea that it had multiple shelves to it. And that TV, for whatever reason, keeps snapping to the bottom shelf. And I wanted it up on the top shelf. So I had to use the um, move objects command to try and get it up there. And once I got it up there, it was too high, then it was too low. So I played around with the height of the TV and I had to keep adjusting where the TV was gonna go without the shelving unit there. Because if I tried to do it while the shelving unit was there, it would just snap back down to that bottom shelf. Now, I do a lot of adjustments here with this shelf because those corners kept poking through the walls and I didn't leave the uh, shelving unit straight against the wall because I wanted it to be kitty cornered so it made sense with the way that the TV was sitting up there. We move over to the small bathroom and I have the bathtub just below the window there so that you can relax in the tub while looking out the window or you can have the window open get a nice breeze. It's really more of a home designed for relaxation, not something that you would spend a ton of time in. Now, because this house is um, very small and, and there's not a whole lot to it, you could use this as a vacation home or you can use this as a home to live in 
and kind of challenge yourself on how you do with your sims and their career when they're living in a smaller home. So we're going around and just adding in a little bit of um, detailed work of adding in your uh, knickknacks and your decorations and stuff like that just to give the room a little bit more color because everything is white. Now the shelving unit it's got a ton of space on it but for whatever reason it still just snaps in certain spots so there's not much on that shelving unit. Now we'll move out to the outside just to finish off with a couple of uh, fine details of adding some benches, some sitting space, and adding in the mailbox. We fix up the archways just a little bit, and that's going to be the end of the build. I mean, we're just going to add in a little bit of uh, trees to give you an idea that this is a beach home, and there's not much to it, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I certainly did, and hopefully they will add in beaches to Sims 4 pretty soon. So please guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.